Morning Nookers. Happy waking day, fam. How y'all doing? If you woke up, you are blessed. Hear my beautiful voice and face and see my beautiful face, you are extra blessed, goddammit. Damn sure. Anyway, fam, this short video is going to be about the jab. The jab, you know. Had a discussion with his sister last night, you know. She got real passionate, real, like, you know, real deep into this here about the jab stuff, right? The African born sister, right? Church girl and everything, you know. She'll talk to me about, like, um, revelations and all stuff like that, but I don't know the Bible and stuff like that, so I really couldn't, let's see. Saying what she said was correct out the of, of this book, but I knew that what she said was correct. You know, she know the book. She's sitting there, tears came to her eyes, right? She said, um, her family got the jab, right? But she didn't do it. They, they kept trying to stress to do it, right? And then she after that, the jab, you no, know, she had a dream, but her family came in a dream, right? And said in her dream, you know. They were, her family members who took the jab were all inside some little room, right? But then they transformed to like little ugly little creatures, you're saying. Tears was in this woman's eyes, fam. I was like, wow, you know? It's like, who do you believe with this stuff here, you know? They were talking before a couple, couple years ago, two years ago, I made a video too about the mark of the beast. They were putting chips in people, in their hands and their heads with the mark of the beast, you know? They're just chips. But now, I believe they do it now with this jab. But they doing other, they doing with this damn jab stuff, fam. I do believe this stuff is um I don't care what anyone says. Everyone says, yeah, there's there's um, a sickness out there. Yes, there's a sickness out there. It's been put the fuck out there. It's not no kind of natural shit just pop up. You no, know, they put that shit out there, right? And the more and more she start talking to sister, I start like, damn, you know, like mm, the shit you saying you saying is sounding correct, you know. I said, I'm not no religious person and things like that, but when she was rocking that stuff, I was like, hey, maybe some shit going on out here because everybody want to push this shit now, right? Everybody was saying get this jab. Not everybody, but they try to push the black people into getting this jab so bad. So bad. Why? I say trying to do that shit because why? Because we are the chosen people. You know, they trying to put something inside our bodies, fam, with this jab stuff. They try to put something in our bodies trying to, um, I see it, diminish our divinity type shit, you know, because they know we're the chosen people. So they were putting that shit in right now. So now they got these little black puppets, you know, on TV, always talking something about whatever this and there, da, 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 da. Talking about now, if you don't get this jab, you catch the sickness, you you can um have erectile dysfunction, right? If you don't get, if you, know, say, if you catch the sickness, you can catch erectile dysfunction, right? And what the fuck that's supposed to mean, huh? You smoke cigarettes, you get erect out of function. You drink alcohol, you get erect out of function. So what you trying to tell us, huh? If you're doing it, then you, you be lit. So now you're trying to do, put the fear, the fear factor into the young bloods out there. Tell them about, if you don't get this jab, you can't get hard no more. Some shit like that, right? Like, wow, why? It's like, why, why, why? I keep pushing so much for the black people, huh? I don't stand that shit there. Go to other people there. They, they inside Louisiana, they're just giving out, um, what do you call them, catfish dinners. Her in Colorado was giving out joints. Her some other place, they gave you like $100, some shit like that. If you get, you get, you get, them, you get, the, get the jab. All of them in black neighborhoods. You see them going inside these fucking redneck goddamn country hillbilly fucking um, towns and tell them, get this goddamn stuff. They're not taking that shit. They're not taking it. They got towns and none of them taking that shit. They fuck that. You see people going up there to them? Huh? Or for them some fucking on what? Mayonnaise sandwiches or some shit? <laughs> you know, whatever else. Some goddamn chew, tipping your teeth. That shit you chew it on. Cigarettes and things like that. They didn't offer them a goddamn thing. But they come offering black people all these incentives to get the jab. And these dumb black fools are going down and getting that shit. Hmm? What they're doing now is getting the mark of the goddamn beast. Like that lady, sister said that state, they're doomed. He said, anyone who's got that jab is doomed. This is the lady said. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking, I'm like, wow, tears in the eyes, everything. You know, she for the, for these Bible scriptures and quotes and things like that. And I was like, wow. Hmm. If she could say this here and quote things from the Bible, say about the mark of the beast, all the stuff like this, and don't do this, why, why all these Supposed to be a Christian society. Why well, no one's saying that about it? Huh? Are they all devils? Huh? Think about that shit, fam. 
Think about this shit. Why they always want us to do something? They never gave a goddamn about black people. Never. Huh? They enslaved you, beat you, raped you, put you in prison, shoot you down, every goddamn thing. But now when it comes to this shit here, oh, we care about you. We want to get you some incentives. Like Colorado, give some loose joints out. Like I said before, they're going to start throwing out crack to the crackheads. Whatever your, your, your fancy is, they're going to do it. If you like girls, they might say, come down to the whole house and get a free shot of booty. You know, it's anything like that. You're a heroin addict, I can't go down and get your free shot of heroin. Get this jab. They want you to get this shit so goddamn bad. I'm like, fuck that shit. No. Don't do it, fam. Don't fuck with that shit, dude. Nah. Like I said, if it's your time to go, it's your time to go. Inshallah. Nothing you can do about it. You know what I'm saying? Nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Nothing you can do about it. So somebody listen to this goddamn dude's, um, like rolling rights and them. Every time something come on with some kind of, that's pro jab, this little fat little punk, he, he, he always got something to say. Like, yeah, yeah. To people, stop on stupid. And this and that. Yeah, yeah, stop on stupid. You wrecked out your function. You smoke a cigarette, you drink alcohol, you get wrecked out of function too, right? Huh? You promote that shit? No. But this jab shit, they all on it. They all on it. Do not trust these goddamn black people on YouTube, all this shit, telling what you need to take, you know? If you free need to take some jab, then you do it. Then you do it, okay? But other than that shit there, don't do it. Because they just said it's a fucking mark of the beast, especially if you're Christian. Now they said if you took the mark of the beast, you're supposed to some kind of Christian or if you're not, whatever, you are fucking doomed. She's talking about some shit you are doomed, doomed for eternity and fires you read some shit like that. She's telling you take this goddamn shot, your ass is going to hell for eternity, huh? Not no, no, not no little hot sauna for 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying, fam? You're going to be out there fucking yelling and screaming, hollering for eternity, burning up. You know what I'm saying? Sizzling and fucking tormenting you know, all your pain, pain you never heard, you could ever felt before. Excruciating pain. It's like, but you can't, you can't let the pain will never go away. It's going to be like that forever and ever and ever. If you get that jab, don't do it, fam. Listen to Unk No Punk, and I'm out, fan. Peace.